Now to I-28, where we have learned a leading Indiana lawmaker is threatening a cut in funding for schools that do virtual learning. And it could mean millions of dollars for some local districts. i teammates Richard Essex is here now with that part of our coverage. Richard. Well, the letter was sent out to every school district in the state earlier this week, and the letter said very simply, if, a student, if more than 50% of a student's time is spent virtually learning, the state could cut their funding. IT mate obtained a copy of the letter that Senate Pro Tem Roderick Bray sent out this week. Senator Bray wrote in the letter, State law stipulates that schools will receive 85% of normal foundation funding for any student that receives at least half of his or her instruction virtually. Foundation funding is the money the state gives each school district for every student. This year it's $5,548 per student. As of this morning, according to a list from the Indiana Department of Education, there are close to 40 school districts across the state that have opted to begin the school year virtually. Dr. Jennifer McCormick, the state superintendent of public instruction, issued a statement that says, I urge Governor Holcomb to honor the promise he made to Hoosier children to provide sustainable funding to K through 12 schools by calling a special session to address this concern. We must do better for our children and our families. Governor Holcomb has said repeatedly that school funding would not suffer as a result of the pandemic. Senator Greg Taylor is asking the governor to call legislators back to the state house and fix this problem. I'm concerned when school districts have to make a decision between children's health and finances. There's no equilibrium that will work in that scenario. Um, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm very surprised that uh, our president pro tem decided to, what I believe, send a warning to school districts that if they go remote, they're going to lose funding. We just received a, a, a letter just a few minutes ago from the Senate Pro Tem's office clarifying what he meant by that letter. He said it was not intended to be a threat towards schools. He says he fully, fully supports all schools and their virtual learning, but he does say that the General Assembly needs to take this issue up when they come back to the State House. In downtown Indianapolis at the State House, Richard Essex, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.